guys welcome to my channel it's night my lighting is not the best but i'm still gonna do this video so it's sunday and i did not cook and therefore i am going to try plantation smokehouse in kingston i've been to the one in ochi it was pretty good food was good vibe was good everything was good and so from the one in kingston open i'm like i really want to go I saw that it's at the lot. I don't know where the lot is, but me go find the lot today because I want plantation smokehouse food. So journey with me and make we go try out the food. A lot of these places they have music in the background. So if music in the, is in the background, I won't be able to do a lot of talking. I'll have to do voiceovers because of copyright reasons. All right. So come with me now. So upon arrival, there was nobody to greet me. I did not know where to sit. I was like a lost soul in the lot. I didn't know where to sit because there are multiple restaurants and it's the first time I've been there. So there was nobody to seat me and I was just confused as to where exactly to go. I got a seat and I just made myself comfortable. So I sat at a cabana and i was just enjoying and feeling myself it was a little hot so i got assistance to turn the fan on and then i just started building a vibe because the girl is cute the girl is attractive a girl is out and about by herself yep and foodie food reach i ordered barbecue spared ribs that's half rack with regular mashed potatoes I wanted sweet mashed potato, but they didn't have that. So I just went with the regular potato and believe me, it was creamy and so good. I was enjoying the food, but disclaimer, while editing this video, I realized that how it looked like I'm holding the fork in my right hand and the knife in my left hand. That's actually not the case. I left my equipment home. I was so unprepared and i just had to use my personal phone to vlog i didn't have a selfie stick or anything so i had to just put on the phone and i was using the front camera so because i'm utilizing the front camera it seems as if i'm holding the knife and fork in the incorrect hand but that's not the case if you're used to front camera you'll realize that yes the front camera caused it to have that flip effect but i was actually holding the fork in my left hand and the knife in my right hand right so i was enjoying my food the meat is seasoned to the bone the barbecue sauce was so flavorful the mashed potato was creamy cheesy and nice and of course the music was playing and thus you're listening to my beautiful voice doing this voice over the food was amazing but girl go road for drink like an alcoholic beverage boops no alcoholic beverage well, that's what I was told at that specific time because I wanted martini or strawberry daiquiri or something with alcohol or even sorrel beer. But I was told none of that was there. And the truth of the matter is that it really did not take away from the fact that the meal was just good. The meal for me was a solid nine. It was pretty good, warm, seemed as if it was done to order. And it tasted so darn good. Bear in mind, this is not a sponsored video. I pay my full money and they did not even know that I'm a YouTuber. Yeah, so it's not like it's a case where I got special treatment. I didn't. I was just a regular person trying a food and just enjoying myself. I mean, the food tastes good. That's what I was saying in the video that the food tastes so good and the customer service was exceptional it's a 10 out of 10 at this point the server came to me or the bartender and she checked if i was okay she brought me my drink i had to drink true juice a girl out to drink true juice when a girl wanted alcoholic beverage but i mean that was fine it was just ordained that a true juice me for drink well i finished eating and that's what I left. I'm not a heavy eater. I don't eat a lot, but I'm a foodie. I love to see food, but I can't eat the food. I am drinking the rest of my true juice. Drink your true juice, yeah, girl, and enjoy yourself. Alcohol was just not for you at that specific time. Anyways, I was feeling myself, feeling cute. Well, not feeling cute. A girl is cute, I mean, know that. Yeah? 
And I just build my own vibe. That's something I like about me. I don't need to feed off anybody's energy. I just feed off my own energy, which is a positive trait that I have. All right. So while it is that I'm there enjoying myself, the server came with the box and I was going to box up my food and she was like, no, I'll box it up for you. She was super nice. Like, super nice. You enjoyed it? Yeah. It's really good. <laughs> I wasn't an alcohol fan. Well, Shandy was a, a long time drink. It's a drink mm. from, I think it's Trinidad. I probably still make it. But that drink from long time. This tastes really good. I have been missing it. Really out. good. Uh, and I want to try the melon and then. Uh, I don't like to try new drinks. Yeah. I like to stick to the evil, I know. <laughs> so, like the same thing I bought here was the same thing I bought at the plantation in Ochi. Okay. Yeah. 
so I was like, I don't want to try nothing new and it uh -huh. don't taste good. But I wanted the wings because I bought the wings down there for appetizer. Uh -huh. It was so good, like it's the best wings I've ever so had. Because I can't eat a lot. Yeah, too much. <laughs> yeah, so I'm a foodie, but I can't eat a lot. Yeah. So I wanted the wings, but I couldn't eat the wings with the ribs, and my favorite is ribs. Yeah. So guys, that's it. The food was so good. The customer service was good. I didn't let them know that I was doing a food review. I didn't let them know my YouTuber until when I finished. The service was exceptional. The manager was good. The servers, they were excellent. They were so friendly down to the security guard was so friendly i mean there's no issue the only challenge was i wanted an alcoholic beverage and when i spoke to the manager about that he bought me the sorrel beer um and not sorrel beer let me keep on as a sorrel beer you know he bought me the lemon beer and it was really good I drank it all off because I was kept it at first. I was like, I'm not gonna buy it. And if what if I don't like it? Then he's like, no, it's on me. And he got me the drink and it was so good. I mean, the service was pretty, pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. It was really good. The ribs was good, man. I definitely have to come back to this place without a doubt. I will be here back. All right, so thank you so much for watching and more food reviews will be coming soon. Don't forget to subscribe and peace out.